All right. Shalom. Shalom. We're going to start out by giving our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Raka. Raka. Kodash. Kodash. All right. The bonds to the elders and the apostles for teaching us this truth and blessings to the brothers pushing the word throughout the four corners. All right. Peace and blessings to the elect. Okay. We got a beautiful lesson going into how hey, the saints shall take the kingdom. Okay. The saints shall take the kingdom. All right. Who are the saints? We can just start out with that right quick. Yeah. Just an introduction, man. Because people don't even know who the saints is. They think the saints is everybody. Okay. All right. The Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, mm -hmm. the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. Right. So children of Israel are the Lord's people, his saints, man. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Indians. Okay. You come from royalty, right? But in this in this cap hey, in this time you are in captivity under Esau Edom, your enemy. All right? Under the wicked, because he's in rule he's in the ruler's seat right now. Come. But ultimately, hey, we're gonna uh, be put back in that power, man. Come. And say the Lord exalted the horn of Israel, you know? God. Then they say I people near unto him, praise mm -hmm. you the Lord. All right, praise you the Come. Lord, man. Okay. Let's Come. go ahead and get that Daniel seven and twenty eight. Daniel 7 and uh, 17, these mm -hmm. great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall rise out of the earth. Right, and the four beasts are what? You got uh, Babylon, uh, Assyrian Babylon, right, captivity. You got the the Medio Persian, you got the Greece, you got Rome, right? All these great, all these horns that had their time to rule, man. Yep. Okay. It said, but the saints mm -hmm. of the Most High should take the kingdom. Right, the saints. At the end of the day, man, the true rulers, right, of the world, okay, of this world and the world, and the universes and everything, man. We own everything. The world belongs to us, and we're going to possess that back, man. Okay. It said, but the saints of the Most High should take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Right, and possess it. Hey, get that word take in the etymology. Taking? Take? take. Yeah, take. Right. Cause they think there's a light thing, you know. It said take. Let me see. To take is the only etymology dictionary. Mm -hmm. To seize, <laughs> lay hold. Right. And seize goes into an overthrow. Keep going. Yo, take. Let me jump down. Mm -hmm. Let me jump down, Baba Kasha. Let me see. It said self receive, choose. <laughs> To become affected by mm -hmm. it said debt which is taken <laughs> since some money taken mm -hmm. uh, pretty much it that's it on there pretty much it to yeah, take man, hey, to take hey, by, hey, by force man yeah, uh, yeah. we're not asking for it and say the saints shall ask for the kingdom it said the saints shall take the kingdom man alright the one who you eagerly call Jesus Christ God and Jesus Christ hey he's a man of war Come. Therefore, hey, the nation of Israel, hey, we come in that same spirit, man. Come. Right? And we, hey, the Lord going to put it within us, man, to take the kingdom. We can't take it right now. We in this flesh, you know? Yeah. We don't even know where to start at right now. But guess what? We going to start at the word, you know? We going to start preach the word, right? Because when the, when the word is being preached throughout the four corners, then shall the end come. Yep. All right? The end of who? Esau, Edom's kingdom. Going back to the word take, it says seize. So right. the word seize means to take possession, take possession of land, mm. goods, etc. By force or authority. By force or authority, man. Okay? You're going to soon find out that Esau, you was never in the ruler seat, man. Uh, you, you never had a chance. You was always born to be overthrown. Right. <laughs> Uh, and I got one for you. These yeah, sons for the seven. I'm gonna start at one. Oh, mm -hmm. clap your hands, all ye people! Shout unto the Most High with the voice of triumph. Mm -hmm. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great King over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us. Who? He and shall subdue the people under us. What did he say? Sit down on my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. What? Right? Yeah, he was speaking to Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, Yahweh Shah is going to have the enemies. Out in, hey, Psalms 83rd chapter, man. We're going to rule over these nations, man, with a rod of iron. They're going to worship us. Come. You know, that's true rulership. Yep. You know? It said he should subdue the people under us and mm -hmm. the nations under our feet. Right. So he gonna bring them down, you know, cause stone with Yahweh shot because this is his kingdom, right. you know, and we are joint heirs with him. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you know, to so all the nations go bow down and worship 
the Israelites, stand with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shot. Right. Then it said, He should choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. The excellency of Jacob, man. Hey, no other nation gets this inheritance. No other nation gets part of us, uh, our come up. Mm -hmm. You see, you had a part in our downfall. You had your foot on our necks, Moab, Ishmael, right? Esau being the number one enemy, Ham. Everybody had a part, but ain't nobody finna have a part in our upcoming, man. Okay. This is Jeremiah 30 and 16. Mm -hmm. Therefore, all they that devour thee should be devoured, right. and all thy adversaries, every one of them, should go into captivity. Mm -hmm. And they that spoil thee should be a spoil, right. and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Whew. Hey, that's an overthrow, man. <laughs> hey, it's season, man. We're yeah. going to do it by force. You have to hey, get that. Uh, what's that one uh, warned to him that is dealt treacherously? Okay. I think that's... It said one to him that deal treacherously, you should be dealt treacherously unto you. What is that, Isaiah? I know it's Isaiah for sure. I don't know if it's 31 or 13. You gotta be on point with the blue letter. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Treacherously. Thirty-three and one. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I was at thirty, you know. But this Isaiah thirty-three and one. Woe to thee that spoiled us, and that was not spoiled. Right. And, and who spoiled us? Esau, Edom, man. Hey, you spoiled the nation of Israel. Hey, you, you, you went over there, man. Atlantic slave trade. You went over there. You took them by force. Hey, even Native Americans, man. Right. Hey, you slaved them in their own land, man. They was rich. They had everything going soil, fertile resources, and you came and destroyed all that, man. God. But guess what? We're going to receive that back, man. 2.0. When a new kingdom be established, hey, you're going to build up our kingdoms and you're going to, uh, you're going to, hey, get beat with the rod of iron. Yeah. So, woe to, yeah, Isaiah 33 and 1. Mm -hmm. Woe to thee that spoil us and that was not spoiled right. and deal treacherously and they that deal not treacherously with thee. Right. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. Right. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, thou shalt deal treacherously with thee. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have this. We're gonna show you what a true soldier look like, man. All right, yeah, you got your military, your army, navy, right, marines, but you ain't never uh, been introduced uh, with this spiritual army, man. Come on. All right, with those spiritual bodies, spiritual power, that standard. Come on. This Isaiah 16 and 10. Mm -hmm. And the sons of strangers should build up their walls, right. and their kings should minister unto thee. Hey, them strangers going to them heathens. Right. You see? Hey, the heathens is going to build up our walls, man. They're going to build our kingdom. Right. You just, see? We build yours just like in Egypt, mm -hmm. right? You read that first, what, first chapter. Hey, you got a history of Jake building up everything. Jake owned stoplights, cameras. Everything was touched by Jake. Yep. Just, whether he was northern kingdom or southern kingdom, man. Yep, just like in this society, right. we build everything up. You know, for free, for free label. Mm -hmm. So, hey, all you heathens are going to build up the kingdom of heaven. Somebody mm -hmm. got to lay our streets down with gold. Somebody. You know, somebody <laughs> got to build, build my mansion, you know, whatever, you know. Right. And the beautiful thing <laughs> is, man, hey, we're not going to be out of a job, man. Oh, uh, hey, let's continue. <laughs> said, and the sons of strangers should build up their walls, and their kings should minister unto thee. The minister mm -hmm. going to serve, so right. they're going to serve us. Mm -hmm. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I... Had mercy on thee. Whew. You see, it said, therefore, that gate should be open continually. Damn, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> and it sounds just like Baruch, because the Lord said, uh, they have seen, likewise, you. I have sent you out with weeping and mourning. Let's, let's get it. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. it ain't going to be no um, lack of job, you know? It, you know, it's going to be continual employment in the kingdom of heaven. You know, your full job, you know, after the, um, the nuclear missiles, right, is to what? To Build the dead bodies, man. Mm -hmm. Then it said, Therefore, that gate should be open continually, that should not be shut day nor night, that man may bring unto the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought to heathens, man. I'm going to read this in NLT too, but this verse 12 for the nations and kingdom that will not serve thee should perish. Yeah, <laughs> those nations should be utterly wasted, man. Right. Hey, and those are commandments given unto us, man, to perform against you. If you don't come, if you don't follow the rules, man, because we're going to be in our right mind. 
right. gonna be on point. So if the Lord give us a commandment, we gonna carry it out like soldiers, man. And guess what? We is not gonna fail the task. No, nah, we got come on. If His law is that commandment, it's gonna be in us. Then right. when we gonna be in the new covenant, right. <laughs> you know? Cause right now we on the grace, but we reign. We reign to you know, to to all things be fulfilled ultimately, man. You know, the Lord said, "Wait upon me to our wise to the praise." So right now we just waiting. We just fishing, mm -hmm. but pretty soon He better turn us to hunters. Right. It's just good to say. Go ahead and get that. This Baruch chapter four verse twenty four. Like as now the neighbors of Sion. Have seen your captivity. Right, the neighbor of Zion has seen that captivity. All the other nations seen us going to captivity. There was a suffering at their de dead bodies to um, rest, mm -hmm. you know, roughly paraphrasing it, but go ahead. It says, So shall they see shortly your salvation from our power. Right, so shortly they're going to see our salvation because remember, this is our little season we in, and this season is just about up. Right. Esau got an expiration date. This kingdom got an expiration date to it, man. So surely that's why I'm about to see our salvation, man. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation, man. Because right. they're not expecting us to be on, uh, to be up next, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they're looking at China and the next superpower on the earth, right? The, how he just spent $38 billion, a million, whatever amount of money in the U the U one. Right. You know, everybody leaving a dollar, so they think China up next. No, China blockhead ass not up next, mm -hmm. man. Right. He, he, he a Moabite. Man. Yeah, incest baby. Mm -hmm. We up next. The so-called Negroes, Black, Spanish, Latinos, Native American Indians. We up next, man. Right. And what, 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 all the things you done to Gad? Hey, he about to get down with Tom. Pay it back, man. He mm -hmm. said, Gad, our troops will overcome you, but yeah, the end, he man. should be overcome. Right. At the end, we get the victory, man. Right. And that's the time we're coming into into because we about to get the victory through your high shot, shot, man. Go ahead. Uh, back in Baruch 4 and 24, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of an everlasting, of the everlasting. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Right, the, patiently the wrath that came uh, from you from the Most High. Right, come upon you. That right. came upon you from the Most High. What was that wrath? Us being, uh, being a slave. Right. You see? The Most High brought us in these uh, conditions, man. That's why we living in the ghettos. That's why we subject to payments. That's why we got to pay for water, clock in, and wake up to alarm clocks. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Because the Most High put these plans on the, upon us because we rebel against them, man. Go ahead. Hey, Baruch 4 and 25, for thy enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction. Right. And shall tread upon his neck. Payback, man. Yeah. Seeing some righteous things to wicked past tribulations to those that trouble you. Man. The Most High with that. Hey. Get that uh Psalms who's just uh stand up against me. Uh Psalms 94, 15. Yeah, I 16. got you. Yep. Can you finish that though? I got you. This is uh Baruch 4 and 27. Well 4 and 26. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Was you done with 25? Yeah, that was it. To tread upon his knees. We 25 again, that's like I got you. This Baruch 4 and 25, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high. Mm -hmm. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Right, keep going. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Go ahead. Be of good comfort, O my children. And cry unto the most high. And that's what we that's what you seeing week in and week out, starting with the prophets. We cry, we sign a crime for all the bubble nation that was, man. Mm -hmm. In due time, he better come back and deliver us, man. Right. For ye should be remembered of him that right. brought these things upon you. Right. If you cry <laughs> unto him though. A lot man. of people ain't crying. They man. they they love it here. Meanwhile, we hate it here. We hate this this this, this wicked, evil world, this kingdom here, man. Yeah. Cause the whole world lies in wickedness, man. This is not you have, this is not our rest. We seek one to come. You know? So we hate this evil, wicked world. You know? <laughs> we looking for a new world to come, man. Uh-huh. This is Psalms 94 and uh, 15. But judgment shall return to righteousness. And the all and all the upright and hearts shall follow it. So you're not upright, you're not gonna follow it. Right. So you're not gonna follow the judgment, the righteousness of the Lord. And yeah, you don't know the plan, man. You on the outskirts, man, because you entangled with the affairs of this life. But yeah. if you hey, if you paying attention to prophecy, hey, being that good watchman, hey, you're gonna eventually know that hey, it's time for an overthrow, man. God. 
It said, who will rise up for me, verse 16, Psalms 94 and 16, mm -hmm. who will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity, man? Hey, those who the Lord has blessed, the saints, right, mm -hmm. that's prophesied to Daniel, that should take the kingdom, ultimately the elect. You know, hey, we're going to, they don't judge us, those four, eight of what the Lord foreordained us, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, we was from the beginning, man. We helped set up the world and created it. You see? And now we about to, hey, Lord willing, man, hey, we about to, man, take this thing and, and remove heads, man, our shoulders, you know? Yeah, this is Revelations 2 and 25, but that mm -hmm. which you have already, right. hold fast till I come. And that's a commandment. We got to hold fast to the rest of knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. And he that overcome it and keeping my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Right, hey, he that endure, man, the same should be saved, man. Who, what we overcoming? Hey, the wiles of the devil. Yep. You see this wicked world, man. Not being trapped, not being put back to sleep. We wide awake, man. We finally see that uh, this kingdom is not it. It's a big Michael two and ten all day. This is not our rest. You see? God. Hey, I got a precept for you. You got some good. Uh, this John eighteen and thirty six. Yahweh shot answered, "My kingdom is not of this world." Yep. You see? Hey, this is Yahweh shot speaking. You people say that he loved the world. He loved this. He loved. Lord don't love nothing, man. He just said it up in red letters. You know, John 18, 36. Yahweh shall answer, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then will my servants fight. Right, then will my servants fight. So Yahweh shall is about to come back. <laughs> and then his servants going to fight. Man. The Lord going to bless his servants with spiritual powers. And they're going to get busy. Man. You know, when we take the world, we not gonna have no Draco. We not gonna have no AR, <laughs> no no bone elbow. We not gonna have none of that. We gonna have spiritual powers, man. Man, <laughs> go ahead. That I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom now from hence. Right. So that was the time when um, he, I want to say who was talking to Pilate, I believe. Pretty mm -hmm. much he's saying, Yo, Pilate. Yeah, pretty much he's saying, look, it's my time to be delivered, to be <laughs> given to your hand. Right. But my servants were, was this was my kingdom now. This war was my kingdom now. My servant would not allow it. Right. And he basically <laughs> you know? spoke future prophecy to them like, hey, it's, it's finna go over your head, but guess what? We're gonna come and we're gonna overtake this kingdom. Yeah. Future prophecy. <laughs> speaking prophecy. Like, Y'all shot was prophesying to him, man. God. You know? This is, we finished this, Revelation 2 and uh, mm -hmm. 26. And he that overcome it, keeping my works unto the end, to him will I give power. Ooh, over the nations, over the heathens. Hey, that's beautiful. It said to them, I give authority over all the nations, man. Man, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful gift. That's in the NLT. Yep. That's a beautiful gift. That's the gift uh, for you enduring and and going, uh, being partakers of your Shah suffering and uh, being persecuted for his name. Hey, you receive great power, man, beyond a damn trophy or a R and B reward or whatever reward America yeah. got to offer out here. Uh, NBA championship right. ring, nah, man. It say in NLT Revelation two and twenty seven, and they will rule the nations with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. Hey, they ride of correction, right? Yep. Uh -huh, yeah, you're gonna be beat into correction each day, man. And hey, we gonna enjoy it. Come. You know, our hands ain't gonna get tired, man. Come. You know, we end it with um, yeah. like you had some. Oh, it was man. Isaiah, the second chapter. Uh huh. But I'm gonna read this oh, in yeah. Revelation 2 and 27 to King James. And he should woo them with a rod of iron, as the vessel of, of a potter should that be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father's. <laughs> you see, even as I receive of my father. Because what the father, heavenly father, told his only begotten son, ask of me, and I should give thee the heathen for, for that, that possession. Man. Psalms, the second chapter. And we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. So, Yahweh Shah, hey, we're going to be joint heirs. So, guess what? The heathen is going to be in our possession. Man. Daniel 7 27. Yeah. The kingdom of heaven. Let's get that real quick. Daniel 7 27. In the kingdom and the mean. And the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven should be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, which broke we, which we broke that down the saints, right? Right. It said, "Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, mm -hmm. and all dominions shall serve and obey him." All dominion, man. Every dominion was set up. Each and the, the scary thing is, man, y'all dominions was only set up by the Lord. 
See, promotion come from the Lord. Right. You see? But guess what? The real true promotion who really gets the, who really was already ruling and had that kingdom-minded mentality is starting with Yahweh Shai, but, hey, the whole nation of Israel. Yep. You see? Hey, read the book of Judges, man. Read Kings. All yep. right? Think about Solomon. You know, everybody wanted to come see, uh, hear about Solomon, wise words and counsels. Come. Hey Jake, man. Yeah, you want to right. start with the um, the first fruits, though. Man. Cause we know two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're not really kingdom kingdom minded. So right. they got to die on this side, man. Mm -hmm. Come back in the kingdom of heaven, you know. So we start with you know Yahweh, Shai, King David, the elect. Right. You know the twelve apostles, the elect. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, man. But go ahead. Hey, this is Isaiah two, starting at one. Yep. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Right. So this physical prophecy concerning Judah and Jerusalem, the, the South Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom. Man, mm -hmm. being the Kingdom of Heaven, we're we going to be one big happy family again, man. Right. We're going to be one nation, you know? Go ahead. Isaiah 2 and 2, and it shall come to pass in the last days right. that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Go ahead. And, and mountains represent government, man. Mm -hmm. All right? It shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow into it. Right. So ask yourself this. Is all nations flowing to the little hats now? <laughs> the ish people? Right. That's capping? Right. No. Meanwhile, they, they bombing Gaza, you know, <laughs> bombing Palestine, you know. They so they can't be the right. most uh, chosen <laughs> people. Because if they were, it would be peaceful. Right. You know? They out there burning and shit, protesting. Why, why are you protesting? With little hats and shit. Go ahead. Isaiah 2 and 3. And many people should go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob. Go ahead. And he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. Is the nations walking in the little heads' paths? Nope. Nope. Shit, you got Muslims praying in the temple. <laughs> in the temple mount. Right. So how they learn the ways of they the most high chosen people? Right. Celebrating Ramadan in Jerusalem. Y'all not the most high chosen people, man. We are. Go ahead. It's a cut. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. Go ahead. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Yep. Mm hmm. They that ride of correction, man. <laughs> hey, Isaiah 2 and 4. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Wait, right. we're going to rebuke with, with what? They ride out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see? Because when y'all go off. Best believe we come in, we come in, you know, we coming through. Right. <laughs> Cause y'all not going to be under the new covenant. Right. right. So y'all going to go off, man. And we ain't going to never go off again. Go ahead. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Yep. Nations shall not lift up sword against nations. So ain't going to be no more war. Sound like an everlasting peace, everlasting peace, a peaceful kingdom, man. Right. You know, Yahweh Shai kingdom going to be everlasting peace. Just like King Solomon. Before peace, what? War got to happen, man. And mm -hmm. that's what exactly what Yahweh Shai come back to do, to make war. Revelation 19 11. He went out to conquer and to uh, conquer the nations, man. Only head was many uh, crowns. And that's what the Lord come back to do, to fight against these nations, to make war. And he going to prevail. Ain't right. gonna be no Independence Day. That's just a make believe ass movie, man. Right. Ain't gonna you be know? no uh, call the UFO and put it in a lab for testing and shit. Yeah, the UFO crash, Area right. 51. All oh, that. Nah, that's. <laughs> Doing experiments yeah. on aliens. And... That's BS right, right there, man. Finishing up Isaiah 2 and 4. Neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Exactly, man. Yeah. That's how we have, man. Hey, Lord willing, you be edified. Gonna give our praises too. Yeah, how about Shem? Yeah, how about Shem? Alright. Hey, Shalom, man. Shalom. Hey, DTA.